really know what to record a video on, so I'm just gonna talk about obvious stuff. This G Fuel is, well, red slash pink. This tape is sticky. The Sharpie is black. Now, I did find something I do want to talk about, and this is something I want to talk about because it's something I have discussed with myself before, because I do talk to myself because I'm a faggot. Just kidding, I have discussed this before to friends and all that stuff, and during streams, and it's a question I ask myself an awful lot. And that question is, how long is Fortnite gonna last? And before y'all start commenting, oh my god, drive you're an asshole, oh my fucking god, you're going to ruin this game. I ask myself this question for one simple reason, is because I don't know. Epic Games does an excellent job at putting out, you know, updates with new content and stuff like that. But one thing you have to ask yourself is, are they really looking at the bigger picture? Or is it just more so just to hold us off and just to kind of keep us satisfied? Because let's look at it this way. What is the bigger picture by all these accessories and stuff? Oh, I just killed someone with C4. This is amazing. I didn't even see me throw it, to be honest with you. But like, yeah, they're cool. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like, I do like all these little updates. Like, it's nice having a bunch of stuff added to the game, right? But it's like, let's get realistic. Like, like how long is that gonna last? There needs to be a, a bigger purpose. Like, there needs to be a, a higher update that we need to be looking for. Did you learn anything? by any gaming community. You know that small shit like this doesn't usually satisfy people a whole lot. At least not in the long run. One thing I have noticed with Fortnite though, and I'm not sure how I feel about it, is Fortnite has been putting out like a lot of updates recently. Like an insane amount. Like it was it was not that bad before. Like they might post like maybe one every week or two and it would have some new content, right? But now there's one every single Thursday just for like the new weekly challenges. And I mean, even like, in like the past week to two weeks alone, there's been like five or six updates like actually i'll probably say about four or five there's been about four or five updates that's a lot man like more often than not i've noticed i've jumped on to this game and i've had to do like a, a two three gigabyte update first before i can even play the game and if that's the way this game is going to be a lot i it's just going to get annoying after a while like every time you get home you're like all right i just want to play some fortnite now but then you got to wait another 15 minutes just to get a fucking update to download the game is good but it shouldn't be relying on like you know accessories and stuff like that dlc and all that stuff like i do like the stuff and i think they should keep adding it i'm just saying they should also look at a bigger picture and like okay what are we hoping to achieve because i mean like they just made an ios fortnite like to me that's fucking pointless i'll probably still end up playing it at some point but like right now like like did they really need to add a mobile fortnite did they did like was that really necessary personally i don't think so i think that was a waste of time there's actually some some problems with the real Fortnite, believe it or not. The game is not perfect. It's actually far from perfect. Like, the shotguns are fucked, Epic. What's happening? Why release an iOS Fortnite when I still have pump shotguns point blank range doing six damage? That's not fucking right. Also, how do you have attack shotgun close range doing 200 plus damage? The whole point of the attack is that it has less damage than a pump. So when it's doing the same damage as a pump, that becomes a problem. It's a bit, you, you see the problem here? It's a bit problematic. But that's one thing that scares me, man, because I like this game it's a good game it's a nice break from call of duty which is another point i want to make what's going to happen to fortnite when black ops 4 comes out so if black ops 4 is a good game fortnite's going to lose a lot of its community a lot of its community is call of duty players and the next game is treyarch and treyarch's a pretty favorite developer amongst the community so what's going to happen when black ops 4 comes out i can tell you now you know fortnite is probably going to decline i'm not going to say it's going to die i'm just going to say it's not going to be as big as people are going to play black ops 4. one thing i've also noticed is there's a lot of fucking lag spikes in this game ammo on the ground are you serious look at this why is there so much ammo on the ground without a gun like i really want fortnite to drive right i do because it's a good game but i don't think these little updates are going to cut it forever i'm not saying they have to stop putting them out they can put them out as much as they want i'm just saying they should also focus on a bigger picture then we have to ask ourselves what is that bigger picture really could just be anything that's going to keep the game fresh and alive because let's face it this map is pretty small and there's only so many places you can go i don't know how they'd incorporate a second map and i don't really know if i would enjoy that very much but hey at least it's something like it's something of a higher purpose because just getting skins and stuff like that's not going to keep the game alive and yeah while these game modes are fun stuff like 20v20 i think it could be a little bit better than 20v20 because while it was fun because there was a bunch of noobs i mean it still wasn't the most coordinated thing in the world 
Now that whole something bigger, like I said, is kind of hard to pinpoint what that should be. But that's where the community comes in. That's where community discussion comes in on what the community wants. So do I think Fortnite's gonna die anytime soon? Not really, probably not. Because Epic is a very small development team. That's the other side that you have to look at, right? They are not a big development team at all, so they have to use the resources they have very carefully. They're not a big developing studio like Call of Duty. They don't have, you know, like 20, 30, 40, 100 people. I don't know how many actors there. I don't fucking know. Epic is not one of these game companies. Epic does not have a lot of people. So they need to be careful on how they use their resources and not to waste them on something that Fortnite really does too. With that being said, I'm hyped for Black Ops 4. I, I actually cannot wait. Hopefully it'll be another Call of Duty game I can actually put a decent amount of time into. Unlike some of these past ones, for which I haven't put all that much time into them. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. I hope this didn't make too many people butt hurt. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me up for all the latest updates, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, homies. I've never said that before. Hey, boy, got a victory royale. Let's get it. Seven kills. Nice, dude. That was pretty good.